Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Top 10 Games of the Month with MDC. What's going on everybody? It's me, MDC. Welcome back to another Top 10 Games of the Month. As we all know, November means Thanksgiving, family, great food, mashed potatoes, and... Oh, I love that macaroni and cheese and some potato casserole with some green beans. I'm just getting hungry thinking about it right now. Just a couple of fun facts. Did you know that November is also National Adoption Awareness Month, National Caregivers Appreciation Month, National Diabetes Awareness Month, National Epilepsy Month, Peanut Butter Lovers Month, Real Jewelry Month, National Sleep Comfort Month? Yeah. I didn't know any of this until today. Anyway, so we're going to be going into the top 10 games of the month today. For November 2016. Just keep in mind these are all my personal opinions and uh, yeah let's get into it. Amnesia the Collector's Edition is coming to PlayStation 4 November 2016 the 22nd. Now this is a horror game that you play through. This was only on PC. It was released on Steam back in 2010. If you wanted to play this game now you have the chance because it's coming to PlayStation 4 with the DLC. That's right. So now you can uh I don't know, sit in your living room and pee your pants rather than sitting at your PC. If you ever wanted to try it, now's the best time to try it. Keep your eye out for this one. Earth's Dawn is a game that's coming to you for the PlayStation 4, PC, Xbox One on November 1st, 2016. It's a 2D style platformer action based game. The main goal in this game is to rid Earth of the alien scourge that is currently attacking it. The game features complete character customization, character creation, and it was released previously in Japan as Earth Wars. So if you like 2D style platformers with a cool alien plot twist, keep your eye out for this one. Tyranny, a game that's coming specifically only to PC, Steam in particular, November 10th, 2016. This is an RPG game, it has a very Boulder's Gate style, and it takes place in a world that's already been taken over with evil. And man, this actually looks really, really cool, I'm not gonna lie. I might pick this up myself and do a little playthrough of it, I haven't decided yet. But um, I love Boulder's Gate, and I think this game has a lot of potential. A lot of potential. And it looks like they like cutting people's heads off as well. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare coming for PlayStation 4, PC, Xbox One, November 4th, 2016. Despite everyone being tired of the Call of Duty series by now, the fan base is still huge, they're still making games, and they're not going to stop anytime soon. Infinite Warfare is going to take place in space with guns, bombs, robots. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this one except it's coming out and it's going to get bought by a lot of people and yeah, that's pretty much it. Dishonored 2, coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, November 11, 2016. The thing I like about this game the most is that you can go through the entire game without having to kill anybody or you can go through the game killing all kinds of people. It's a very, like, stealthy type of game. If you like Metal Gear Solid, you will probably like this game. The story looks cool, the graphics look amazing. Now I didn't play the first Dishonored game, but from what everyone tells me, this game is going to be amazing. The hype is very high and I'm excited to see what happens with this game because honestly the graphics look great and the story looks pretty good too. Watch Dogs 2 coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, November 15th, 2016. Pull out those cell phones, pull out those laptops, and get ready to hack your way to the top, guys, because Watch Dogs is coming back with a second installment. I have Watch Dogs 1. I played about half of the game, but I did forget about it because I think real life stuff like school and work and other things like that, but I'm going to pick it back up, finish the game, and then one day hopefully I can get Watch Dogs 2. Um, this is going to be a fairly more expensive game and I'm pretty sure I cannot purchase it right away but anyway the hype is really really high on this one and um, yeah I had to mention this and the top 10 games of the month for November Robinson the journey coming to PlayStation virtual reality or better known as PlayStation VR now this game is probably the single-handed reason I want to get a PlayStation VR so bad this is awesome you crash land on a planet it's you know you have no idea where you're at and guess what there's dinosaurs, guys. That's right. They have a virtual reality game where you crash land on a foreign planet and you gotta find your way around and there's freaking dinosaurs. This is a true adventure game. They're describing this game as a sci-fi adventure type of game. I mean, that should be enough said. You know, I mean, just look at these amazing, like, graphics and stuff. Don't tell me this would not be cool to put on a virtual reality headset and see these dinosaurs and see these environments like this. I think it'd be awesome. Like, I'm so stoked. If I if I manage to get a PlayStation VR headset, I am gonna get this game. Hands down, I'm getting it. I'm making videos on it and I'm playing it. 
Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out for Nintendo 3DS November 18th, 2016. There is a lot of people excited for this game and well, they should be. I mean, Pokemon's been awesome ever since I was a kid. I remember that. So yeah, but also I couldn't show any gameplay footage of this game because then I'll get a copyright strike by Nintendo themselves and I'll be forced to take down my video. So here's just an image that I found on the internet and yeah, other than that, Pokemon Sun and Moon's coming out. I'm excited, a lot of other people are excited as well, and it's going to be good. Every Pokemon game is always good for at least the first month, at least that's in my opinion. You play it for a month and then, eh, you wait till the next one. Owlboy coming out for PC, Steam only, November 1st, 2016. I actually own this game. This is a 2D style platforming action adventure indie game. Guys, it took the developers 9 years to complete this game. 9 years, I can't stress that enough. This game is very well put together, the colors are amazing, and for this, for this being an 8-bit game, this is so beautiful. This is amazing. I'm actually playing this game on my YouTube channel as a Let's Play series right now, and the story is amazing. I, I've just said amazing like three times because honestly I love this game and I can't wait to keep playing it I've been busy actually recently over the past week But I'm gonna jump back on this game as soon as I get a chance and record some more and make a video out of it um, I really highly recommend you guys if you have steam out there if you like indie games really really consider giving this game a try It's a lot of fun Coming in at number one of course you all knew it was gonna happen Final Fantasy 15 baby PlayStation 4 Xbox one it's been talked about for a long time. I'm talking about years. It's finally here, guys. And honestly, it should be a December game, but we gotta wait until the very end of the month. November 29th is when this game is coming out. And I don't even have to say anything about it. The name of the game, it just says it itself. Everyone's excited for Final Fantasy. It's probably gonna make game of the year. And the graphics are amazing. The gameplay is amazing. They are doing so much with the Final Fantasy series now. It's crazy. And I'm just going to bring it up in this video anyway. I can't wait until Final Fantasy VII, the remake. That's going to be amazing, too. Um, I really haven't been this excited for a Final Fantasy game in a really, really long time. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not, a, I'm not a diehard Final Fantasy game fan. The last one I played was number 10. But this one, this one right here is going to be awesome. I mean, dude, look at this part. Look at this part right here that's coming up. Look how big that guy is. Humongous. Like, this story is going to be cool. What else can you say? The story is going to be awesome, and uh, yeah. So there we have it, everybody. Top 10 games of the month for November 2016 with me, MDC. If you agree with anything that I said or liked anything, go ahead and leave a like on the video or leave a comment below for some feedback. And until next time, guys, don't forget to keep playing them games, and I will see you right back here again next month with Top 10 Games of the Month for December. Peace.